Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we will be discussing another question on strengths and array tutorials. So the question we will discuss today is, so given uh, two strengths, we need to find if both of these strengths are permutations of each other. So basically what does permutation mean? So permutation is basically the same string in different orders. So for example, my name is Shivam. So I can write, uh, I write my name as S-H-I-V-A-M. And if I rearrange the characters in my name like M, M, I, V, like this. So this is a permutation of my name. So we, I need to, uh, I am given two such strings and I, to, I need to find if both of these strings are permutation of each other. So let's take an example. So for example, I am given a string love and void. So I need to find if these two strings are permutations of each other. So what do you think? Are these strings permutation of each other? Yes, because like this L is present here. O is present here, V is present here, and E is present here. So they can they contain basically exactly same characters but in different orders. So what is the property of permutation? So both strings will be containing same characters but in different order. So whenever you have some such such uh, question when you when you need to do something on uh, character level and you need some count thing because what what intuition I get from is so basically I need to check the count of each character in both the strings and if the count of each character in both the string matches then I need to use hash map so you can directly go to the optimized solution but I will not recommend you to go directly jump to this optimized solution you should first think of naive solution so how do I solve it in a, using naive solution like without even using extra space so what I can do is I can sort both of these strings so what does sorting means so if I sort this then what will my uh, output string will get is I get E L O V and if I sort this I get is E L O V so basically now what I can do is I can compare the sorted version of these strings and if they matches that means they are permutations of each other so this is the way you need to approach the solution first using naive solution and then if interviewer asks you to optimize a solution then you move to hash map part because you know whenever a uh, question involves like keeping the count of characters or in, in an array keeping the count of each each element how much time it is present then you then the hash map is the perfect choice why hash map is a perfect choice because the iteration the fetching from hash map the inserting from hash map is constant time so using hash map in your program does not adds to the time complexity because uh, all the operations the fetching insertion takes over time so hash map does not brings any time with itself so it uh, just does this operation in constant time so uh, first thing was like uh, basically sorting the strings and comparing the sorted version of the strings that, that way you can easily find the but if, the, if these are permutations of each other or not next is basically you can create a hash map so what you, what you can do is basically uh, you can first uh, traverse the first string so what you can do is you can put L and then count is 1 because it is appearing the first time then you have O, so O is occurring for the first time. Then you have V, V is occurring for the first time. And then you have E, E is also occurring for the first time. Let's say our string was not this. So let's say our string was, if we had one more E and one more E here. So what I can do is, so next I move to this E, so it will, I will increment the count to 2. So now my hash map becomes L is 1, O is 1, V is 1 and E is 2. So now what I need to do is, when I traverse the second string, I need to find I need to basically uh, look into the same hash map and basically subtract the occurrences and in and uh, when does my question fails so if if I don't find any of the element in the hash map already present then I say that my uh, strings are not permutations of each other because that element is uh, present in this string but it is not present in the hash map this means it was not present in the first string and what is the second use second case when my question fails so second case my question fail is when basically uh, I, I am done iterating the second string and there is some character in the string which whose count is not zero that means uh, it is present more than more times in the first string so this this is when basically my uh, use case fail so there is one more use case when my uh, question will fail is so basically my uh, let's say I have one more E here so uh, after I uh, after I delete both of these two, so I'll make it zero, and then in the end I I, I will be at this e. So when I'm this when I'm present at the last e, I try to fetch the value of e. So it will be zero, which means there are there were there are no more e's in the first string. So which means uh, there is one extra e in the second string. In that case, I need to basically uh, terminate the function and tell that they are no not permutation of each other. So let's try to solve it. So this so now I have this hash map. 
I need to iterate it up again over this string. So basically, I, I, am, I find e. So what I can do is, I fetch the value of e. So it is 2. What I, what I will do is, I will basically decrement the value of count of occurrence. So I will decrement from 2 to 1. Next I am at b. So I will decrement, so it becomes 0. Now next I am at o. So it, I will decrement by 1. e. So basically, e is 1. So I will decrement it again by 1. Next is l. So basically, I will decrement and make it l. So after iterating over the complete string, I need to iterate over the hash map and see if the count of each character in the string is 0. And if I find any character which count is non-zero, that means they were not permutations of each other. Let's take one more example and basically dry run it. So let's see my example is L-O-V-E and then here I have L-O-V-E-E. -E. So that, that's way for this I will create I hash map. So it will be L-O-V-E. 1 1 1 1 and then I again iterate it here so basically I'll come to L make it 0 I'll come at zero, make it 0 I'll come at B make it 0 I'll come at E and make it 0 next I will come at E again so I'll try to find the value of E I have E and the value is 0 so that means no more E are present in the first string which means uh, they are not permutations of each other so I'll return first so this is how you can find easily find if two strings are permutations of each other so these questions look simple, but they are like they are equally asked in the interviews because they check your basic skills. So these questions are uh, not the, the, it's not like that. These questions are not no more asked in the interviews. So the uh, interviewer can very well ask these questions because these these skills test your basic understanding about the when to use hash map, when to use headset, and how to approach strings problem. So do practice these questions, and we'll meet again with next question in strings and array tutorials. Thank you.